The areas in the conflicts that we'll be focusing in this course are natural disasters and wars. Those are the major causes for migrations. Sometimes when a natural disaster happens, there are millions of people that have to be eva evacuated just in a few days. And that means that people have to leave their homes, they have to leave all their belongings and leave without anything to save their lives. And most often, after the disaster, when they come back, everything is gone, so they have to start rebuilding their lives from, from zero. Uh, the emergency shelters are a place where they can live uh, temporarily. Same thing happens in, in civil wars, when, uh, when a, a conflict, a man-made conflict, a civil war for whatever causes, uh, economical, political or religious causes, happen, people have to leave their homes as recently has happened in uh, many parts of the world. For natural disasters, we'll be focusing on uh, the Philippines, which has been affected by Typhoon Haiyan in November of 2013, where millions of homes have been destroyed and uh, about 10,000 people unfortunately died during the uh, typhoon. Uh, at the moment, we are uh, about six months after the, comp after the disaster and at the moment people are still living in, in tents, people are still living in, in uh, whatever they found on site and whatever they were able to rebuild it. But they need a more, a better home, something, somewhere where they can feel safer and where they can rebuild their lives. That is a step before going into more permanent uh, core shelters where people would be able to live and eventually expand their home in the future. Another conflict that we are looking for at is uh, Haiti. Haiti has happened a few years ago, the earthquake, and unfortunately not uh, enough has been done at the moment. So there is still a lot of need for shelters. There is still a lot of work that is done by international organizations to uh, help the people in that place. Recently, there was a major flood in uh, Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina that uh, killed thousands of people and, and displaced uh, more than 100,000 pe 100, people from, from their homes. Uh, this is why uh, they need to uh, go back, they need to rebuild, but until then they need these uh, temporary homes. The recent conflict in Iraq has caused uh, more than half a million people to flood in just in one day from, from their homes and they are now living in, in temporary shelters, in, in refugee camps or in the homes of their friends in different cities. Those are people that need our help. Those are people that need to find a better home. There has been a, a conflict in Syria that has been going on for years already and seems that it's uh, getting better in the past months. But still, there are millions of people displaced all over Syria, in Jordan, in Lebanon, in Turkey, in Iraq. And those people don't have a home and are living in, in uh, very difficult conditions and need a better place for uh, their families. We had another conflict in South Sudan, another civil war, and again, people were living in, in tents or in whatever they could build in the middle of the mud, in the middle of, of uh, the deserts, and, and in very uh, difficult uh, natural uh, conditions. This is a course that studies all these conflicts and tries to respond to them with a convincing solution. We ask you to be experimental, we ask you to design something that is different from the solutions that have been provided so far. The UNHCR, which is the United Nations High Commission for the Refugees, has been using the same solution for the past 50 years, the so-called TARP tent that is deployed all over, and it has been um, um, successful for the time when it was invented, but people now need, need better conditions, and we as designers can help them. That is why we uh, invite you to participate uh, in the course and to uh, help with your talent, with your passion, with your skills and with your collaboration with people from our international community.